here's the top of the keel. Each slot will fit over the tab underneath it and they're symmetrical. So as long as I line up all the tabs, the keel itself will end up to be symmetrical. So all I did was whack on the center pieces. Those were already lined up. This part needed to go down, so I simply stood on top of it, and that was enough weight with a fulcrum right here. So I just put a block of wood underneath it, and then my weight pushed it down enough to get these tabs through. And now I'm doing the same thing up in the front. There's the block of wood. So some welding, applying pressure in the right point, that straightened it out a lot. And here's the pressure point change. There used to be a block underneath here, but I moved it out to here. I could do that because I had welded up to here, and that gave me enough strength to just bend this part. I laid this setup with a scientifically balanced pile of metal. The keel looks pretty good from here, but line it all up. You can see the rear portion is lined up nicely, but you go forward and the front portion is too far to the left. As you can see, I got my winches ready to go. I'm just going to crank it over to the right a little bit. And that's actually the bottom of the keel. All three of these winches are cranked as far as I can get them without bending the handle. So I applied some heat with propane and that had no effect. I cannot bend this keel, which is encouraging and frustrating at the same time. It's encouraging because it's strong, but frustrating of course because I need to align it. So now I'm going to probably cut this and then I'm going to cut all the way down so that I can bend it along that line and hope for the best. Here's the size of the gap I've created at the top. That's something for comparison. And the gap is almost closed on the top. It is closed here. Slight improvement, but now I know what I need to do. I just need to make a better cut and it will bend inward just a little bit more. Here's a safety tip I stumbled across. I've always wondered why is it that when I apply a lot of pressure through any device, in this case it's the car jack. When the metal fails or the temporary weld fails, in this case it was the metal itself, why doesn't it just snap that way and whip through the air at high velocity? And I realize it's because I've got two welds going. The first one breaks and that relieves the tension. And so the second one still holds and this big hook doesn't go anywhere. Here is my latest wacky setup. Here's my method for weighing the ballast, all this metal that I cut up. Place this in, and it starts to slowly lift the other side. And I'm gonna just break its fall a little bit. So now I know I have slightly more than 42 pounds worth of metal right there. All this stuff can be found on the street. This is probably a $2 bolt here, $1.50. I mean, what do I have, over a thousand bucks here? Plus this is full as well. These are bolts that I'm going to use on the bottom of the keel. I'll weld them on and then a bolt on the extra weight that I need on the bottom of the it's got about 1,600 pounds, including the weight of the metal itself. So that's not going to be enough. I think the boat's going to weigh anywhere from seven to 8,000 pounds. I'm trying to get about 3,000 pounds of ballast, and the lower it is, of course, the less I need. Here are the bolts that I'm using. I showed you those earlier, but I wanted to show you my huge weld. 
My whole point is that even though I'll probably be making a good bond by melting this metal to this metal, I also want to go over top of this lip just to make sure that it has the best attachment possible. And each one of these is attached to a place inside that is fully supported within the hull itself. So there's a weld inside attaching this piece that's inside the keel and that will be supported inside of the boat. Talk more about that later. Inside of all of the slots combined is a bunch of metal. Some car springs there but mostly metal from a shears at the bottom. I think it's iron. It's about 500 pounds worth of metal. I'm going to add 600 pounds of concrete and the keel itself, the metal that forms it, weighs 300 pounds. So I'm up to 1400. Got this shovel for free. All it needed was to have the handle modified a little bit because it had broken off previously and then another bolt put through. Also this wheelbarrow was free. I've got the top on the keel now and these are the welds I'm making. There's a tab underneath, underneath each one of these welds. You can see how huge the weld is. That's because I double welded it. I'm trying to make it waterproof, doing the best I can with two welds. This is what the tab looks like. I cut it down almost flush. I'll weld once and then I'll weld over top of that weld when I'm done. 